Corona Cation. It is day 76. 76? Yeah. Ooh. Which means wait, it's Friday. I thought you were trying to do math. I was like, good luck, guys. That was a disaster. <laughs> we know yeah. that doesn't work out. Andrew, man, 76, there's been a lot of changes that have happened over the last couple weeks. Like, I know for me, there's a weird oddity of getting used to some of the things. So I'm curious, what has stretched you? What? How are things going? Okay, so this may sound funny, but people wearing masks mm -hmm. has made me listen closer, like listen, like tune in more because I am a lip reader that helps me understand what your um, visual yeah. helps me understand what you're saying. So I'm hearing it and I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. And now I can only with people that are talking to me like waiters or people at the store or whatever, I can only hear them now. And so it's like, ma, ma. <laughs> I'm tuning in more. Okay. So I'm having to listen cool. closer. Yeah. yeah, with my ears. I know for me, I've been trying to be a lot more flexible because mm. there's one thing we've seen is we don't really know like what the future holds, what the day holds. And yeah. so uh, the word of the coronavirus has been uh, pivot. We've been pivoting a lot, changing things and making a new plan almost daily at yeah. times. And so yeah. for me, it's just taught me to be a lot more flexible, um, to not always be so rigid with my schedule or how things are going. So there is some good things, yeah. learning how to listen better, um, learning more flexibility. I imagine you've learned and you've grown as well in different ways. I know I've heard from some kids that are growing in patience, Ooh, like that's, that's great. really needing to become a little more patient and uh, it's been tough, um, but you're showing determination, right? All month long. Stick with it. Deciding it's worth it. To finish what you started. Oh yeah, we're almost done with the month. We'll start a new word. Another one? On we're almost done with another month. Another one. Also, we've got some cool memory oh, verse man. stuff coming in. But for now, Andrew, it's Friday, which means I would love to jump into our Bible story today. Do you remember where in the Bible we're looking? Acts 8. Acts chapter 8. So you can grab a Bible, open it up. Um, we're going to follow along with the story. Acts chapter 8. It's a great example of determination. It's a great example of following God's spirit when he calls you to do something to actually going out and doing it. So I hope you lean in a little bit and learn today from Philip in Acts 8. Let's check it out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 8, verses 26 through 40. Philip, like his friend Stephen, was a Jesus follower. Both men had been chosen to help new believers who needed food or special care. At your service. But after Stephen was killed, the Jewish religious leaders became even more bold in hunting down people who followed Jesus. They were led by a young man named Saul. Go house to house, find these Jesus people and toss them in jail. Many of the new believers left Jerusalem and scattered, but everywhere they went, they shared the story of Jesus. Jesus is God's son. He came to rescue all of us. Philip traveled to a town in Samaria where he told everyone about Jesus and even made sick people well through God's power. I can walk! Look! I can dance! <laughs> Praise God! Philip and the new believers in the city were filled with joy, but then an angel of the Lord appeared to Philip. Go south to the desert road that leads from Jerusalem to Gaza. <laughs> Stephen probably had some questions. Wait, what? Everything's going so well here. What good can I do in the desert? Still, Philip set out immediately. He was about to discover that he wasn't the only one with questions. Far to the south, on that very desert road, a man from Ethiopia was speeding along in his chariot, reading from a scroll. He was led like a sheep to be killed. Who's he? He who? The man was a high official in charge of everything owned by the Ethiopian queen. 
He believed in God and had chosen to become a Jew, even traveling for days to worship God at the temple in Jerusalem. But still, he was filled with questions as he read from scripture. This prophet, Isaiah, I don't understand what he's saying. As Philip hiked along the road, he spotted the Ethiopian official's chariot ahead. God's spirit spoke to Philip. Go to that chariot. Stay near it. On my mark, get set. Philip ran until he came alongside the chariot, where the official was still absorbed in the words of Isaiah. When he was treated badly, he was refused a fair trial. <laughs> Do you understand what you're reading? The official's eyebrows shut up, and he nearly dropped the scroll. Stop the chariot! As the chariot slowed, the official peered down at Philip. How can I understand? I need someone to explain it to me. I'm someone. Then come sit up here with me. Thank you. Show me where you're reading. Right here. He was led like a sheep to be killed, just as lambs are silent while their wool is being cut off. He did not open his mouth. When he was treated badly, he was refused a fair trial. Who can say anything about his children? His life was cut off from the earth. The official frowned in concentration. Tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about? Himself or someone else? He's talking about the one God has sent to rescue all of us. His name is Jesus. As the two men traveled along that hot, dusty road, Philip shared the whole story of Jesus, how Jesus gave his life for each of us and, and was raised to life again. This, this, this is amazing. This changes everything. Ahead, the men could see a few lone palm trees. As they approached, sunlight flared off a clear pool of water. Look, water, what can stop me from being baptized? <laughs> Let's do it. Stop the chariot! Philip and the official climbed down from the chariot, and Philip led the man down into the water. I baptize you in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, praise God! Dripping wet and filled with joy, the two men came up out of the water. Philip, you'd love Ethiopia. You really should. Philip? Philip? Philip had suddenly, completely disappeared. In fact, God's spirit had whisked him away. He's gone! Only God could have done that. Let's get a move on. I've got more reading to do. The Ethiopian official went on his way, a changed man, and Philip found himself in the town of Azotus. Um, what just happened? Well, I'm sure there are more people around here who need to hear about Jesus. Both Philip and the Ethiopian official had continued to be faithful and seek God, even when they couldn't see the whole picture. And the story of Jesus continued to spread. All right, Karu and Acacia, we're gonna play a game called Close Call World Records. You can play along at home. You just need to write down your answer. I have one, two, three, four, five, six contestants, which means we'll go through five questions, eliminating people along the way. You have to be the closest to get it right. It doesn't have to, uh, you don't have to get it right, but just don't be the furthest away. Everybody knows I'll win. Yeah. <laughs> I got through school by guesstimating, so I'm gonna get this. So whoever is the furthest answer away is eliminated. Go back to work. No um, using Alexa or any phones. No using Alexa. That's what I use. Okay, Google. Cheater. <laughs> what is the world record for most marshmallows caught in someone's oh. mouth in a minute? Write down your answer. But are they Any like catching it? Are like eating it? Or is it like a These are actual marshmallows, self thrown, I'm sure. Write it down, write it down, write it down. Everyone have their answer written? No. Yes. yes. Oh, hurry up. Yes. Oh, I'm losing. I've got this one. What is it? I'm probably. Ready? The correct answer is 38. Oh. Who's the oh! 37! I did, I did 58. I just saw it here. Corona case. 72! Oh, I, I, I was trying to think. It was like less than two minutes. Bye. All right. Let's go. What is the world record for most ice cream scoops balanced on the cone? Oh, my. Balanced on top. Oh, I'm pretty confident in my answer. 
Ooh, you don't don't forget to factor in melting Ooh, pot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh! Oh! I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm like. Oh my god. Seven. 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 I have seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. I have fifty-eight. <laughs> Oh, okay. I just I did. But, I, that's but, crazy. But like, that's... how tall is 120? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see like Navy scoops. Yeah, like, exactly. Is it I want to see the scoopage on that. What is the world record for most Big Macs oh. consumed oh, come on. in a, in a lifetime? Life. How do you measure that? I, when was the last time you had a Big Mac? In a lot of years. I think I saw a news article on this one, so I'm. What's your guess? I'm not telling you. I have an advantage. <laughs> What's your guess? No, You'll see it. I'll say. Oh, dude, it. we are way off. So I looked at your answer. So one of us. Is I'm going, going big or going small, y'all. Here you go. No! Oh! Holy moly! Twelve thousand five hundred sixty-two. I said a hundred thousand. So I'm just gonna <laughs> walk myself out. I said no, 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 no. no. I said. 550,000, I don't know why. You said 550,000, I'm still in? <laughs> I'm out. I said 3,287. Oh. Not as bad as... What is the world record for most fingers and toes on a living person? Wait, no, 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 that is not what I meant to write. <laughs> <laughs> Like, is it combined fingers and toes? Yeah, I would guess like this okay. is 20. Okay, I got mine. I got mine. We ready? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 my bad. My bad. I thought it was. I need to change my answer. Yeah. Um. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. This is a weird person. <laughs> right. If this is my. Here we go. Oh, come on, 30! I did 26. I did 32. I literally had 28 on mine and I scribbled it out! Bye, Sam. Wait, uh, no. It all comes down to this. Oh, you Sam. might win! I might win, I told you. Oh my gosh. Right. Here we go. What is the world record for the tallest man currently alive? Confidence. Oh, lack of confidence. It's erased. All right. No, no. Okay. Why don't we see your answers first? I went with seven six first, but I quickly changed it to seven foot nine inches. I went ten foot eight inches. Seven. Oh, we're gonna have to do some math on this one, probably. Here we go. Eight. It's closer. Eight. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, you're like eight nine ten two. Two only like he's he's one and no he's not even I'm one off. Five and a half inches away. Whoa. You Congratulations, Tucker, you are the big winner. No! Maybe they beat all of you. They probably did. You okay. never know. They could have been eight foot two. You did beat all of them. That's tall. Like he wouldn't even have to that's like Oh, oh no, I do that. Like, hold on, hold You'd on. have to Eight duck foot? going no. through a door. I was like, that's, that's not that. that. I'm like six that. foot. <laughs> I'm that's six foot. foot. That's two more feet. Oh. You're probably oh. right. It probably is a little further up. <sighs> All right, thanks for playing. I hope you have a great day, and I we will you see you tomorrow. Oh, wait, that's a thing? How'd you do we that? We made it a thing. It's a thing. You should just do it. Tomorrow.